Worcester Water Operations participated in a national observance called Imagine a Day Without Water. With more on that is Jamie Kender, Worcester's environmental analyst. What we supply to our customers is simply called drinking water, but if you think about it, it is used for so much more than that. So here I'd like to take a few minutes to recap what it means to imagine a day without water. I'm not talking about as a result of drought or other acts of mother nature. I'm talking about no water simply because the infrastructure used to deliver it no longer functions. Antiquated pipes, valves and seals repaired so many times they can no longer be fixed. The uh, vital role they play in cities and towns in economic development and public health. So we're focusing today here in Worcester on our, our water system. Um, it's a, a large old system dating back to uh, pipes in the ground built in 1870, still in use. Um, we've got a supply of 22 million gallons a day we send into the city as well as into surrounding towns to meet the water supply needs. And we really want to focus on uh, the importance of that water because every business in the city depends on our water. Water is a vital resource that is used in almost everything, every day. Every time you turn on the faucet, shower, or flush your toilet, water is there, seemingly like magic. Hospitals need water to serve patient meals, sterilize equipment, surgeons need it to scrub in, not to mention restaurants, manufacturing, firefighting. All of our revenue for operating or for investing comes from the water bills we send out. So, and we send water bills to everyone. There's no, with the exception of city departments, you know, the, if you're a nonprofit and you have a building connected to our system, which they all do, the colleges, churches, hospitals, all these that don't necessarily pay taxes do pay water bills. In fact, some of our biggest customers are these nonprofits, the colleges, you, <coughs> hospitals, universities, um, are among our biggest customers. So uh, those are the rate payers. Those are the people that are paying for this system and for the water they use. Behind every drop of water you use, there are dedicated people and a vast delivery system being monitored and maintained. This system in Worcester, one of 1,700 municipal water supplies in the state, needs to be updated to continue to provide this precious resource so often taken for granted. Pipes, for example, are made of durable material but will fail over time and need to be replaced. There are um, about 1,700 public water systems in the state. They range from a tiny restaurant that serves people on a daily basis up to major cities like Worcester and Boston. Um, we are very fortunate. We have the MWRA, which is the Mass Water Resources Authority that serves Greater Boston with their water. But each town and city has their own distribution network to carry the water through. And so um, everyone is dealing with aging pipes and pumps and valves and needing to uh, replace and invest in those. Um, we have water systems in the Commonwealth that date back to the 1800s. And uh, we um, hear that the city of Boston sometimes does still pull out wooden pipe from the, the street. And so um, it's a cost, constant need to reinvest in our systems to make sure that we are providing the most reliable service we can. The city survived during the recent Stage 3 drought in part because of residents and businesses conserving. But the system's needs goes beyond conserving. It goes beyond users paying for water. We have been investing in our, our distribution system alone. Uh, we have spent... Um, about four million dollars a year replacing pipes and that's been going on since about 1980. We have this beautiful facility, the, the Robert Moylan filtration plant that uh, was built 20 years ago and we still consider it a new facility in, in uh, Worcester terms but it's, uh, it's in need of upgrades now uh, but without it our water quality suffers so we we need to keep investing and people although they don't like to get that water bill um, every quarter it's how we keep the system running, and it's really critical. Huge investment is needed to sustain current and future delivery of just water. Wastewater and stormwater management are not included in the billions of dollars needed. The infrastructure that carries our water will always sort of be the same. It is the, the pipes. Um, they may vary by the size, but they are all sort of uh, the same. They may, may vary by the materials, but they are um, really important to delivering the water. We have seen technology um, upgrades and advancements in treatment plants and in 
motors and in pumps, but the pipes themselves um, are vital to the product that we deliver, which is clean, safe water. What can residents and business owners do? So Mass Waterworks is part of a coalition called the Water Infrastructure Alliance, and we are working with folks like the engineering community and the utility contractors to raise the visibility at the state house about the need to invest in water infrastructure. So we don't have a lot of um, free money coming to our water systems. It is mainly through water rates and through taxes. And so what we are trying to do is to get the legislature to appropriate more money. For more information on water services, go to the city's website. Thank you.